Hi, this is Ben Gums with Tri-County Communications with a tech tip video on the benefits and instructions for setting up a wireless USB mouse with your laptop. Now, laptops have a built-in mouse. It's called a trackpad. It's this thing right here. You drag your finger around on it and it moves the mouse around on the screen. Your two mouse buttons are right here. So you can either kind of click the mouse buttons with your thumb or take your fingers off the touchpad to click the mice buttons or use both hands in tandem to drag your mouse around and click the buttons. Now while it's great to have a built-in mouse on your laptop so you've always got a mouse with you wherever you go, I find that for regular daily use I like to have a regular traditional mouse. It's just as easier to use, easier to click, and plus a trackpad is not wide enough to be able to move the mouse from one side of the screen to the other without having to swipe your finger several times. So I've got a couple examples to show you here. One is the standard size mouse right here. Uh, wireless has a wireless chip that you plug into a USB port. One clever thing about these uh, wireless mice is that they typically have a little hiding spot for the chip so you don't have to leave it plugged into your laptop where it could get damaged if it's bumped or moved or put into your bag or something. So it has a little wireless chip here, has an on off button, has a place for the battery. In this case it's right here. We take that out and you can see there's a battery in there. Put that back in will typically come with your battery so you don't have to worry about that. You might need to change it every few months or so, but it typically lasts quite a long time. So this is a standard mouse. Standard feel, uh, the roller ball for being able to scroll up and down, and your mouse buttons. I also have a travel mouse for an example. It's a little bit smaller, about uh, two-thirds of the size. Um, it doesn't quite fit in your hand as nice, so you just kind of use your fingers around it but it not only fits in a bag a lot easier or, or a carry case or something, but it's also small enough that you can actually use the surface of the laptop as your mouse surface if you like. Uh, one thing about these mice, just like uh, typical mice, even the corded types, is that they are infrared, meaning uh, they have, you can see that a little bit, uh, they have an infrared light and that's how the uh, mouse tracks around on the screen. So you don't have to have an actual flat mouse pad surface. You can use any surface, any tabletop, piece of paper, um, your, your you know, jeans or, or whatever you'd like to use as a mouse surface. The only thing you have to be careful about is to not use a black surface or a mouse pad with lots of black on it. As black absorbs light, so when the red beam goes over black, it can't tell where it is because it won't bounce back to the mouse. So that's the only thing to worry about. But otherwise, uh, setting these up is a snap. You just take the USB chip, plug it into any USB port, usually the sides of your laptop or the back will have them. Um, so you just find a USB port on the side, plug it in. Now if this is the first time you're using a USB mouse, you should have an indicator come up in the corner where Windows tells you it found a new device and it's setting it up for you. This takes about 30 seconds and it will tell you when the device is ready to use. At that point, you just Turn the mouse on, and you can begin mousing. Now this doesn't turn off the trackpad automatically, and you can still use your trackpad whenever you want to. It's just nice to have another option. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can email me at bgums at tccpro.net. That's b-g-u-m-z at tccpro.net. Find this and other tech tutorial videos at tccpro.net and click on news at the top. Thanks for watching.